Hey folks and welcome back. In the following video I'm going to show you how to create a new slideshow with the Porto 2 theme. So to create a slideshow is really simple. If you just go to the dashboard area and go to slideshows, then in this section you can simply hit add new with a slideshow. And to add images to the slideshow is pretty simple. So first things first is label the slideshow. So for example, let's call this the home page new slideshow then we're going to scroll down we're going to choose the slide effect whether that is slide or fade so again whether you want the image to uh, slide like this one or if you want it to fade uh, it looks like the image just fades in and out rather than this full slide of the image choose between the options you can have the transition speed you can increase that or decrease that so if you want it to move slower or faster you can increase it and decrease it as required. And you can also have autoplay if you would like it to uh, continuously play by itself. And of course, choose the delay before it kicks in. You also have one option here to pause it on hover. So if you want people to be able to pause the slideshow by hovering over it, enable this option too. Now to add slides, simple. Go ahead and click add slide. And you can add three different types of slides. Image, image and video embed and an image or and a video in the background. So with the image, it's just one simple image. With the image video embed, uh, again, add an image and add the video embed code from either YouTube or Vimeo. And for the video in the background, you can upload a MP4 file and it should be no larger than 10 megabytes. So if you add an MP4 file, you can add it here and that will allow you to add a video to the header of the slideshow as well. You also have the option to choose the video size, whether that's full screen or the original ratio. Uh, you can decide which option fits for you. The full screen will, of course, stretch the video out on different screen devices, and the original ratio will keep it uh, as it was whenever you originally created it. So let's go back to images. Let's click Add Image. Now you can upload your images from your desktop or choose existing images if needs be. So let's find a few that will work for us. Of course, Portrait will not be the best option uh, considering that this is sort of set up for uh, landscape as you can see on the home page. And 2800 pixels by 1500 pixels in height is going to be sort of the best ratio for your slideshow images. And uh, it will, yeah, it will prevent you from really having a crop on the site. So it's just a little bit under two to one, I think 1.9 to one roughly um, to get that sort of good ratio. So I'm just gonna choose multiple images. You can actually choose more than one at once and that will add multiple slides as you can see. So that added all my images here at once. And then of course you have this content area here where you can add title, a subtitle, a read more link and a URL. Now you don't have to have the read more link if you don't want to link off to any specific content. If that's the case, just remove the read more area and the link and nothing will show up. You also have the option to choose the elements color and the elements color are the menu items, the arrows, the text that's over the um, slideshow. So again, if it's a dark image, choose uh, white. If it's a light image, choose a uh, dark color uh, for your slideshow. We have another really neat option that you should take advantage of as well. So if you hover over any image, you'll see this icon here and that is the image position on the phone and you can go ahead and click that and then choose the position of the image so you get the most ideal position on mobile phone devices. You can also remember drag and drop your images into any order and remove any image by just clicking remove a row. So it's very simple to use and once you go ahead and publish that slideshow then you will be able to use it in any page. So if you were to go to pages and for example, if I went to, let's see, one of the home pages, and then I would be able to add a slideshow block, and inside that slideshow block, I can select the slide that I just created. So once this page loads, we will have a layout section, and in the layout section, we should have a slideshow block, or at least we should add one. So you can add a slideshow block to the page. There are four different slideshows. So if I go to the bottom here, type in slideshow, You'll see that there's slideshow one, two, three, and four. Choose which one works best for you. 
and which one you like the most. So if you want a simple clean slideshow, slideshow three is gonna work best. If you want visible nearby, uh, as in you can see the images a little bit in each side, slideshow four. If you want the menu in the middle, slideshow two, and if you want uh, the slideshow with more elements on it, slideshow one is gonna be the best fit for you. So again, choose whatever slideshow you want. And of course then, once that slideshow is added, you can move it into the position, edit it by hitting the pencil, and then select the slideshow that you need. So again, whatever slideshow it was, uh, homepage new slideshow, it can either be full screen or a specific height based on pixels. So I usually keep it at full screen. You have the option to display the header. Uh, if you're using the slideshow at the top of the page and you don't have a header block, uh, as you can see on our page, we don't have a header block. Uh, at the top of the slideshow, we have it below. Uh, but you can remove the, the header block, for example, and then, of course, enable the header so that it's only going to be shown in the slideshow. You can choose the position. You can choose custom header layouts. You can choose to display the title areas, the decorative images, and all the different options that are available in site here as well. Slideshow button colors, text colors, and if you want as well, a scroll down button as well. So as you can see on here, we have the scroll down button. And whenever you click it, it scrolls down to the first block uh, just below the slideshow. So lots of different options. It's really simple to create a slideshow. Uh, play with those, try the different slideshow blocks, see which one will work best for you, and get started adding slideshows to your Porto 2 theme.